Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more blind gaming today. We're playing No Man's Sky for the PC, of course. We're in part three of our series, hooray! <laughs> We're just finishing up this planet, the first one we went to. Um, before we go into space, I went around farming because the first thing I was concerned about was money. So I've gotten myself a nice chunk of change. Not a lot, but for beginning of the game, yeah, it's a lot. Um, we do have a new multi-tool. And uh, it was like 40k, or almost 50k, but uh, I popped two additional items into it. It did not come with a visor, and I threw an extra mining thing in here. But I already had a, um, a bolt cutter, is that what they call it? Bolt caster, I don't know I keep calling it bolt cutter. And it had a, um, a mod on it already, so that was pretty cool. And it had a couple mining mods on there. Pretty neat. Um, Damage-wise on the mining laser, nothing, but uh, as far as like reload time, um, ability to cut through a little quicker, it's pretty nice. Ooh. These are new. Go over and check them out. Let's do that. It's nice, like right before we take off that we find They're winged. They could just take off if they wanted to. We got him. Let's grab his blueprint. It's very bland color planet, that's for sure, but there's been a lot of life. I did find a bug that was hostile, and I scanned it in. Actually, let's see if uh, that guy right there. Yeah, he was hostile. He's not as big as it looks right there, but... And there's our new buddies. Alright, so these places usually have multi-tools, uh, the ones with the platforms. But I wanted to show you what the aliens look like, uh, the Vakeen. Oh, there's a new one. Let's see, this is going to cost a chunk of money. Alright, looks like it. The only difference is that this one has a plasma launcher on it. Um, I don't know if I want this. You know what? Let's just. It's actually cheaper than the other one. Hmm. You know what? Why not? We're not that far in the game. I don't think I'd gotten that one before. So here's the Vakeen. There's a couple variants of what they look like, but uh, this is generally... They do a lot of gurgles. Alright, what does he say? Vakeen... Ancients... I'm not gonna recharge... Share oxygen walkway. Let's share. Yes. She liked it. Alright, so we got some units. Alright, let's talk to him again. So after you talk to him, whether it's good or bad, um, he may teach you a word if you want. There we go. So that was nice of him. So we got another word down. Let's uh, let's check out what they got in the trade. So this is where you're going to want to go to trade out your stuff that you find. And that's what I did. It really didn't take very long to get 300k, to be honest. Once you get used to the game, and since I had uh, already recorded part of the game, uh, by the time I had to delete my corrupted hard drive, uh, I already knew what to do. I won't tell you what sells, just kind of look around and find out what sells the best. But, uh, look in here. Oh, there's actually quite a bit in there. Nice variety. And every time, I don't know if you notice that, every time you want to talk to him, it requires carbon. I think. Yeah, 20 carbon. So, they usually plant two uh, plants, no pun intended there, so that you can go ahead and uh, talk to these people. So yay, we got four aliens down. Obviously, I had talked to a couple before the video. And 
and uh, you need an Atlas Pass. V2. V2. Yep. We got a couple uh, achievements there. What's this one? Oh. Cool. So we got a travel one. Alright. There's another, I think. Yes. We'd already gotten that. So we got a shelter over here. Now, I noticed, and it could just be me, the Vikine are the race that has the most multi-tools to find the other uh, races, or at least the Gek will meet the Gek. It seemed like you'd find these outposts, and there'd be no multi-tool station. And that always, uh, that always bugged me, because I'd be like, oh, I just want a new multi-tool. Just twirl the chair. That's that's wild. All they want you to do is twirl the chair. Well, thank you for nothing. Oh, I don't have a visor. All right, what else can we throw on here? See, we're getting some stuff. Oh, here's some damage. Let's throw some damage on there. And how about mining a little better? Him. Yeah, it's pretty. A lot of wildlife on this planet. Oh, I'm hearing the bugs. There's the bugs. You prick. I didn't bother you. And you will notice, I never experienced it yet, um, but wildlife will just charge you. Oh, oh you prick. <laughs> Just blew him out of the water. Kabam! Yeah, that's that plasma. You can blow yourself, it'll make holes. You can blow yourself out of the cave. But you want to mod it to where it makes a big, big hole. It's one of the best freaking weapons in the game. In my opinion, is the plasma um, grenade. So, see, our, our laser beam, I think, is a different color than uh, what we're used to. Get rid of you. I don't need titanium, so I'm not going to... Oh, maybe I will kill that sentinel. Sink. This is, uh, I'm scaring all the wildlife. This is a, uh, um, a beginning gun. There's nothing big on it except, uh, I put a little more damage on that, uh, mining laser and that's it. All right, let's take off. Let's go into space. We'll do our first space. Let's make sure everything is up to snuff. Actually had that full. I'm surprised. Okay, and make sure we got some life support. Get rid of you. Ooh, no, we haven't gotten any new mods for our suit. All right, let's do this. I think we get an achievement too for leaving the uh, atmosphere for the first time. This game's super fun though. Now, asteroids, like I said, will give you... You'll see. See? You get this stuff just from asteroids. So there's no need to worry about getting it down on the planet. There's also other elements. I've only seen, like, nickel or something. Let's see what this gives.
Oh, we got enough of that now. Oh wait, that's plutonium. We need more of this. Might as well farm it. And we can be attacked. It's pretty cool. I like it. Like these guys. They may they may turn on us. You never know. Little more, I think. Yeah, this is quite the asteroid field. Be topped off here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're topped off. Alright, so we have, you know, it says undiscovered. Let's get out a little bit here. Right, and you see there's a marker. That's a space station. So here's a planet that we were just on. So it's our beginning planet. Aww. <laughs> Won't be laughing too much when we get our asses handed to us. Alright, so we got this planet. I don't know if that's a planet over there or if that's... Let's check our galactic map. It says... Uh, two moons. Alright. So we got three planets, two moons. I bet those little things were moons. I don't think I've ever been on a moon. Alright, you know what? Let's hit this planet. Uh, I don't know. We could go space station. You know what? Since we're in space for the first time, let's, let's hit the space station. So this is our pulse engine. We can go right through asteroids and stuff. You don't worry about getting hit. You can't drive, but you can kind of move. I was hoping to have gotten a new ship for you guys by now you know looking for it you can find crash ships but I didn't have any luck this music's pretty cool it reminds me of Wolfenstein music the new order I don't know if any of you guys play that I had it on my channel or I have it on my channel and this music reminds me of it. I love the Wolfenstein games, they were fun. I think he's saluting. I don't really. I think that's like a hello. Now these space stations are pretty much the same as far as um, you need atlas passes. You need like a level three atlas pass. Yeah. So I I really want to know what's behind those doors. We got a little station over here. see what's in the trade goods but I noticed that the trading in the space station is a little different you can get some materials that you can't normally get if you're looking for some high level modifications like this you can only see I only seem to find on like a cold planet they're blue crystals so that's kind of hard to get until you find them then you're like rolling in it let's grab that all right let's talk to mr. Grumbles. Alright, I have no idea what he's saying except warrior. Um, anytime you see this, um, Vakin, ally, or above, um, I just choose it. It seems to always be the right answer. Yes. 
and then you can talk to him normally. Hopefully he'll let us learn a word. You see the little like soda pop dispensers next to him? They're like high tech ones. Anything you choose here will actually give you rep. So um, feel free to go to town on those. I think he gave us a couple words there. All right, and then the fun part about a space station is that you can um, do some uh, window shopping. You see like new spaceships. This is a pretty common one, but as you progress, you're gonna find this, you know, this model, except it'll be modded differently. So you see like the wings will be different or, um, pretty cool, but uh, let's keep waiting. There's gonna be plenty of ships coming. And I say that as nothing's coming. All right, let's let's talk to this guy. So any ship you can interact with, and you can make an offer or trade. So an offer, you could buy the ship if you wanted to. This is not the way you want to get a ship, to be honest, unless you have a lot of money. And I mean millions and millions and millions of dollars. Um, so let's check out what he's got to sell. Nothing special. Looks like what the uh, space station. And, you know, all the stuff you can find. It's not that big a deal. But all right, so here's a ship. It's quite a bit more. Yeah, it's quite a bit more advanced than mine. Nothing special. Just got some nice guns on it. And if you look down there, it's a little over a million, which um, is kind of expensive right now in the game. I've grinded, so you would definitely not have that much money. Here's another one. So it's kind of like this, except there's two of them. So, yeah, that's about it. I think, uh, what are we, 17 minutes into the video? I'm going to be editing. Let's wait for another ship and... Um, so the most expensive ship that I found was worth like 170 something million units. So that puts it into perspective for you what you need to get like a really high end ship if you want to buy one. Now the good thing about buying a ship is that when you purchase it, all the parts are not broken. You see, so you'll have um, you'll have no resources to put into repairing it, where is if the more ideal, insane method would be as you're perusing this giant galaxy and looking on planets, you're going to find these transmission signals. And as you follow them, you're going to find crashed ships. And it's free. So when you find a crashed ship, it's yours if you want it. You just have to fix it. And that may require... It will require a lot of resources. So your first thing is going to be to repair the engines and then start repairing everything else and you can find really nice ships. I found a very nice ship doing that before I had to frickin delete my game files for you guys. But uh all right, anyways, let's uh let's talk to this to this guy here. It's a cool looking ship. These are exploration ships, by the way, these bigger ones. That is actual garbage. Wow. I'm surprised it only had that. And you see this one's very, very cheap. We could pick it up right now, but we have no slots to store anything. And uh, I think, frankly, our ship's better. Oh, here we go. I mean, we kind of have one because of the starter ship, but this is a fighter. So this is what you want as far as for fighting. You, now make a note of this and this is what I've seen it doesn't matter what kind of ship you want to go for a ship that you like what it looks like um, if you want to start out either exploration start out a fighter start out whatever that will that will be where you need to uh, make sure you pick the right ones but you can modify any ship to have whatever you want on there so you can turn an exploration ship into a fighter. It's just gonna turn a little slower. Um, I go by aesthetics, really, unless I have no choice. Like this ship would be much better than what we currently have. 
and I I would be damn it that is uh more than we have but that would be cool if we could buy this ship we got a nice number of slots let's compare it so we have four more slots in our current ship and it's really not that much money so that'd be pretty cool now what determines how much the ship is is two things how many slots it has I think it maxes at 48. I think that's the most slots you can have, and it pretty much takes the whole screen up here. But the mods that are pre-installed on it. So if we had uh, four hyperdrives, four pulse engines, every gun, every shield, this would be in the 200 million range, you know what I mean, with max slots, without having to fix a single thing right out of the um, dealer. So that's what that's what would cost us money and you'll never have that much money unless you're like me and you go crazy I can get several hundred million units pretty quick I think just from what I uh, play you know was playing like before I think I had like 150 million and I kind of gave up trying because I had so much money I didn't think I needed it anymore but um, so that's the space station it's just window shopping if you have money to burn and you have you're not looking for crash ships this is where you want to go and they'll kind of go by what your current ship is so if your ship is worth let's say a million units just let's say all the ships coming in will be around there maybe like double the price so you'll find everything will be like two million units and then you make your decision but uh, if you want to save money and you don't mind grinding a little bit just hunt down crash ships there's several just innumerable crash ships and it's all RNG based so you may find like I did I found a 46 slot ship um, right at the end of my last uh, recordings and again we were 26 videos I was about to start editing and uploading them and my hard drive died um, I didn't realize it was dying until I was having recording problems so now I know and there was no recovery in the videos they were uh, they were all corrupted you could play them out but there was all these stutterings going on because of the hard drive it was not the game the game's been fixed since but uh, yeah, let's check out what this one looks like oh I think that's one of the double yeah that's a pretty common so anyways guys like comment subscribe share and or donate I hope to see you on next video many more to come until next time as always Later.